and today is Wednesday and we are gonna do a Rue review. This is another episode that didn't make any goddamn sense, okay? At all! At all! So in the beginning of the episode, they asked, um, after Tatiana's elimination, they asked Katya who she picked to send home, and it was Roxy, because Katya's the only one there with a fucking brain left. But anyway, so today's chat, the maxi challenge for that episode was they had to make over their family members. So Alyssa's sister came, which, oh my God, they're so cute. Alaska's mom came, so pretty. Detox's sister came, those noses are iconic. Um, Katya's mom came, oh my God. She was the cutest little lady, oh my goodness. And Roxy's grandmother, but like mom, came and if we all saw when Roxy had her season on she talked about how her mother left her and her sister at bus stop and her grandma had to come get her and raise her and that's you know that's her mom so she came they had to transform them into you know drag sisters for this particular conversation I love that there was a nice little moment between Alyssa and her and his sister and I love because they talked about the anniversary of their mom's death. I thought it was a very touching episode because you learn different things about the different queens. You know, regardless on if you think this shit is rigged or not. Or, you know, you hate how the shit is going. Because I genuinely hate how this season is going now. But I did love the sweet tender moments between everybody and their family. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills came to teach the bitches how to do brows. Which is so fun. I want to meet Anastasia Beverly Hills one day so so bad so um detox and his sister are talking about their father and um how he wasn't really accepting it at first but then he you know towards the end of his life he was more open and honest about his feelings and he supported detox and all those other things i thought that was beautiful so then also on the runway they had to um vogue they had to vogue the house down yes yes Yes, get it. Uh, I know me and my mom would have killed this. You know, even though I'm not a drag queen, me and my mom would have slayed this fucking thing. Some of the dances were great. Like, I really liked Detoxes and her sisters. Like, I feel like they really put some effort into it. Katya's was weird. It was funny, but it was weird. Um, I thought Alyssa's and her sisters were cute. It could have been more, but it was cute. Um, I thought Roxy did just enough for her grandmother, because I like, because she didn't try to overpack it, make the choreography like something fucking complicated. And um, Alaska and her mom, it was, it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. So I talked about the outfits. I really, really liked Alyssa and sister i love that um i love that cute little red jacket that she had on for it i really liked it because i like a puffy sleeve type of situation um alaska and mom that sign was really cute pulling it out and hi i thought that was really cute i thought that was creative but the outfits were not creative like you literally took black sequence and wrapped it around a corset and you thought we wouldn't notice but but you weren't sent home. Okay. Um, Detox and sister. I love the color choice. I thought his sister looked slamming. Like, body amazing. Dress amazing. They look just alike. I love the wigs. I love the styling. I loved everything about their outfits. Green is like a really pretty color. Um, Katya and mom. I love the concept. I thought the whole concept was hilarious. How, you know, she's this hot Russian model and bringing her mom along. Like, come on. And I thought the mom acted that amazingly. Like, I thought this shit was so funny how she peeked around the corner. Like, oh, where am I? Oh, we're coming? Okay, I'm coming. I'm going. And I love Katya always having to stop, turn back, and go, would you come on? I thought that was really creative, and I thought that was really cute. Roxy and mom, I thought she made her mom look fucking stunning. I love the long wig. I love the makeup. It was subtle, but it was still really, really pretty. She didn't look old. She did not look old. You better do it, bitch. You better go. On. I love when old ladies put on makeup and like a ton of wigs and shit. They be, old bitches be doing it. They be doing it, y'all. 
So, I like because the judges brought up Alaska's mom's outfit and felt that it was lazy. It was, was very lazy. I feel like Alaska's gotten to the point where he feels like since he slayed all the competition that he really don't have to work as hard towards the end because he just kind of knew he was a shoo -in. That's what it feels like. That's what it felt like. Katya and Detox won because I do feel like Katya and Detox had the best presentation. And I put how Alaska is being very, very bratty. Like, really, who says they're going to give someone $10,000 to stay? Like, I thought she was being a little dramatic. Like, ripped off the way. Drag is hard. And I hate because people try to compare it to Fifi's outburst. Oh, you guys came for Fifi and now you're coming for Alaska. This is the difference. Fifi was acting like an asshole all season. Alaska's assholeness was either jokes or subtlety. But to have a full-blown fucking temper tantrum because you think you're going home, well, maybe you should have put more um thought and hard work into the outfits you and your mom wore. Like, I'm not about to have wrap some fabric around my mama and be like, this fashion. And send her out there? No. I thought it was very lazy. So for you to sit there and have a whole hissy fit about it, I thought it was bullshit. And I thought, if you're going to act like that, you should be sent home anyway. Since you don't know how to act. Like, really, girl? It ain't that deep. You said in a few episodes before, it's just drag. Is it really just drag? Because you seem to be acting like it's something completely different. I mean, you've won money this competition. You don't have to win, but okay. So, first of all, I don't get how Detox won that lip sync. Like, I get how, I get how. The outfit was banging the wig, you know, ass out completely. And it was a show. But again, you know, <laughs> I thought Detox, I, I mean, I thought Katya was going to win that one, but I like Detox. But Detox's decision is what's still throwing me. How in the hell do you send Alyssa home? How in the fuck? How? How? Like, that didn't make any sense. First of all, why the fuck did it have to be a bottom three? Did y'all not feel like filming another whole episode for the four of them? I mean, what, what would it have been? It would have been like what? It would have been five. I don't know how many numbers it would have been. But y'all didn't feel like filming a whole separate episode, then getting the um, top queens we vote for that way. Like, why did we have to send Alyssa home? Alyssa should still be there. Katya should most definitely be there. Detox should definitely be there. I'm on the fence about Alaska's behavior, but Alaska does, does really great in challenges. And I feel like Alaska should be there. Roxy should not. Roxy literally skated her ass through this whole competition, and just because y'all been friends for 13 years, you want to keep her. You know, they said in the beginning of the season that Alaska Talks was not in effect, when clearly it is. Clearly it is. This is RuPaul's best friend race. This is exactly what the fuck this is. Because how in the... How? How? Just, I don't... <sighs> Roxy should have went home, okay? You don't be in the bottom that many fucking times and you just kind of just skate through. Like, what the fuck? And I hate when they say, I need to be here. Well, if you need to be here, then why do you keep doing lackluster shit? Like, I don't fuck. It should have been at least either Alaska or Roxy. Like, I don't fucking get it. Like, wh <laughs> what? What? Whatever, y'all. You know what? Some of y'all probably disagree in the comments, which I completely, you know, respect and everything. But it should have been either Roxy or Alaska. I'm sorry. It should have been one of them. Like, Alyssa shouldn't have gone home. I don't fucking get that. I hope Katya wins. Katya better fucking win. All right? I love the fact that people are bringing up the last time Alaska Talks was in a finale. And I didn't even like Jinx Monsoon that much. I really didn't. But you know... I hope Katya takes it from their asses again. Like, you know, I just, this season, it, it had its highs, and then it got real stupid. You know, I just, whatever, y'all. Whatever. What did y'all think about the episode? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you're looking forward to in the episode tomorrow. Who you think is going to win. Are you Team Roxy, Team Katya, Team Alaska, or Team Detox? Let me know below. If no one's told you that you're awesome and that they love you, I think you're awesome. And I love you. Peace!